In this video, I'll be solving May 2018, question 7. A sequence of figures is made from squares of unit length. The first three figures in the sequence are shown below. Part A. Draw figure 4 of the sequence of 2 marks. Now, upon carefully observing figures 1, 2, and 3, you would notice that figure 2 is formed when we add 2 squares to figure 1. Figure 3 is formed when we add 2 squares to figure 2. So therefore, figure 4 will be formed when we add 2 squares to figure 3. So, I will now draw figure 4 of the sequence. Part B. Study the pattern of numbers in each row of the table below. Each row relates to one of the figures in the sequence of figures on page 22. Some rows have not been included in the table. Complete the rows numbered 1, 2, and 3. The first thing I'm going to do here is to check and see if there's a common difference in the number of squares in the figure S and the parameter of the figure P. So, 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. You could see that these numbers remain the same, so there is a common difference. So therefore, 7 plus 2 will give me 9. In the same way, let's check and see if there's a common difference here as well for the parameter of the figure P. 12 minus 8 is 4. 16 minus 12 here is 4. So there is a common difference as well. So 16 plus 4 is 20. Now, whenever we have a common difference, we are dealing with an arithmetic sequence. And the next step is to derive the formula for S and P when the figure number is N. So, I'll write here number of squares in a figure. S, and we know from our table here that the first term here is 3 and the common difference is 2. So I'll write here A is 3 and the common difference is 2. Now the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is always given by this formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Substituting the values of a and d into this formula here, I have a n is equal to 3 plus n minus 1 multiplied by 2. So a n is equal to 3 plus 2 n minus 2. a n is equal to 2 n plus 3 minus 2, a n is equal to 2 n plus 1. So therefore, the formula for s here, when the figure number is n, is equal to 2 n plus 1. So I'll now derive here the formula for the parameter of the figure p. So I'll write here, parameter of figure P and from our table here, we know that our first term A is equal to 8 and our common difference D is equal to 4. So I'll record this here. A is equal to 8 and D is equal to 4. And I know that the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is given by the formula A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 multiplied by D. So, substituting the values of a and d into the formula here, we have a n is equal to 8 plus n minus 1 multiplied by 4. a n is equal to 8 plus 4 n minus 4. a n is equal to 4 n plus 8 minus 4. a n is equal to 4n plus 4. So therefore, 
the formula for the parameter of the figure is given by 4n plus 4. So I will now write here the formula that I derive for s and p into the table here. So s here is 2n plus 1 and p is 4n plus 4. So the third thing I will do here is to use the derived formula for s and p to solve for any remaining unknowns. So here we have s is equal to 43. And I will use the formula s is equal to 2n plus 1 to find the value of n. And then I'll use this value of n with the formula for p here to find this unknown. So I could write here that s is equal to 43. And we know that the formula for s is 2n plus 1. So substituting here, s is equal to 43. 2n plus 1, so this is 43. Take the 1 across, the equal sign, it becomes negative. This is equal to 2n. 43 minus 1 is 42, is equal to 2n, divide by 2, divide by 2. n here is equal to 21. So I'll write that into the table here. 21. Now I'll use this value, n is equal to 21, and the formula p is equal to 4n plus 4 to solve for the value of p here when n is 21. So when n is equal to 21, we have p is equal to 4n plus 4. Substituting n is equal to 21 into the formula here, p is equal to 4 multiplied by 21 plus 4. P is equal to 4 multiplied by 21 is 84 plus 4. P is equal to 88. So I'll record this into my table here. When n is equal to 21, the parameter is 88. Part C. Determine the relationship between the number of squares s and the parameter p of a figure for two marks. So I'll write the two formulae that I derived here. S is equal to 2n plus 1, and I'll call this equation 1. And P is equal to 4n plus 4, and I'll call this equation 2. Now I want to make n the subject of the formula in equation 1. So I'll say here from equation 1, S minus 1 is equal to 2n, dividing both sides by 2. I'm getting here that n is equal to s minus 1 all over 2, and I'll call this equation 3. And I'm going to sub equation 3 into equation 2. So this is going to be p, 4, and wherever I see n here, I'm going to substitute s minus 1 all over 2. s minus 1 all over 2 plus 4. Now this is like over 1 and 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 4, 2. So p is equal to 2, open bracket, s minus 1, close brackets, plus 4. p is equal to 2s minus 2, plus 4. p is equal to 2s, 4 minus 2 here is positive 2. So, the relationship between P and S is P is equal to 2S plus 2.